Hey. Hey, what does this smell like? Um, like the dysfunctional asshole I broke up with six months ago? But <laughs> oh, is that what you want? Yup. He just gets a pass, like Milton Berle. Yup. Sweet old Korean lady? Yup. Is that how you want to play it? Yup. Fine. Baby? No, 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 that Hun, is a breach of trust, Lana. Do you Lana. really want to and open this can of trust breachy worms right after I caught you and my ex-boyfriend with a dead hooker in the trunk? Who are you supposed to be? Top or bottoms? Stern yet sensual skipper of the USS Rough Service? These two can share a cabin. Nope! Not going to let the terrorists win. We'll pose as husband and wife. Nope! My vulva is smoother than a veal cutlet. With terrible timing. You're really gonna leave me out here? Yep. I like your new hairdo, by the way. Well, if you like the collar, you're gonna love the cuffs. What? You're just doing this to spite me! And? You just have to find the right guy who's not intimidated by your power. Or my twin tech nines. Or those big steam shovely scoops you call hands. What? I'm kidding! And one more crack about monster hands and I promise you I will shoot your fat Irish faces off. I'm sorry, was that racist? I'm not mad at you. I'm sorry. I'm mad at Archer. I am literally wet with jealousy. <laughs> yeah, laugh it up, Lana. I am. You almost got shot in the face. Get off. You get off. Cyril. I'm pretty tense right now. Because of the Cubans or because Burt Reynolds is doing your mom? Shut your dick holes, get your gear, shut up again, and start walking. Any questions? Freeze! Hands up! Get them up! Oh, oh, we got a gun! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I swear to God, if any of you Canadian fruitcakes move, I will shoot that stupid hat right off your head! If you're looking for insight into why Archer is Archer, you need to jump in a time machine and then go have a threesome with Oedipus and Sigmund Freud. Oh, and Trish, uh, with your looks, Maybe bitchy's not the way to go. And I expect you to be totally convincing. As the damsel in distress, have you ever met a woman less damsely? I'm not gonna hit you. Oh, why? Is your vagina bothering you? Since when is babysitting Archer my Joe? My God, that's exactly my job. No, Enjoy no, no, your no, stay, no, no, Mr. and no. Mrs. Archer. Oh, it's like my heart's being gripped by the icy fingers of some terrifying ghost of honeymoon future. <laughs> what was that? I couldn't hear you over the sound of your wrongness. Because you let him. Because you let him push your buttons. That's why you stormed off with no GPS, gun, phone, or life-saving water. And that's why you died in the desert. Holy shit, I'm gonna die in the desert. <gasps> Just like Cheryl's gypsy woman said. How would I ever die in a desert? In addition to sushi, booze, and soft cheeses, I'm also supposed to abstain from bus crashes. So stay awake. I'm trying, but 18 hours? I don't know how Pam's doing it. Seriously? Thought you were gonna shoot me. Day's not over. Oh shit. Yeah, you're gonna be a great mother. I can start smoking crack today and he'd still turn out better than you. Lana. Lana. Lana! Everything, everywhere, every when is about the paragon of adequacy that is your dick. And if you tell him I said this, I'll break your frickin' arms. It's, ugh, archer time. And get me some frickin' morphine! Lana, come on, what kind of doula would I be if I let you have more? What? Ah! Oh! Wow. And some ammo! Archerizing this plan. What? No, no, uh-uh. You cannot make yourself a verb. I will not allow it. Remember when the office shut down and we spent an entire year as coke dealers? What, so people just quit? Why are your plans always so complicated? You're like Wile E. Coyote with access to predator drones. Where is AJ? She's with mother, calm down. Why I... am I in a car, in a trench coat, and lingerie? Why am I in, oh my God, there was a vagina in your sink. Okay, technically, yes. Lana? What? Now, with AJ, I thought it would be safer than being a spy. Lana, I want you to tail him tonight, and... No, I can't, okay? Tonight, I have to bake a huge batch of hamantaschen and take them over to that headmaster. Wait, what? At his house? Yes. Sounds like a really bad idea. So does minding my business. Are you literally insane? No, but I'll tell you what is AJ's tuition for country day preschool. Wait, I thought she was banned from there. She was, until we made a sizable donation to their endowment fund. What? How sizable? Uh, we should probably hear him out. God damn it. But he's so goddamn immature, he thinks it's funny to watch the mother of his child hauled off to jail. What a lovely way to burn. Maybe. I'm gonna leave you here between hope 
and despair. Get up there and entertain those people. How? Do you want me to do a strip tease? Hmm. That was a joke. Ugh. Oh, great. Now I have no liquor. Just a big fat pair of blue lady balls. Look, lady. And here, obviously, I'm using the word lady in the very broadest possible sense. Let's go, toots. I got places to be. Okay. A, the free clinic's not even open till nine. And two... What the... Who the hell do you think you are? Uh... Shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Her Royal Highness, Princess Lana Lua Kalani. Can someone please explain to me why Mr. Fox and I aren't sipping champagne in the plane I chartered? I always found it ironic that if you really want to get bent over, just ask a missionary. <laughs> I forbid it! Excuse me? I forbid it! As princess, I forbid the looting of Michimoto's cultural artifacts by you! You... Europeans! Well, the Fiora, um... The Charlie Chaplin guy. None! So you're not gonna do anything? Well, I'm no good to us dead. What good are you alive? So we've got an alien on board that's multiplying, no food, and scavengers might still be tracking us. Anyone have an idea that doesn't involve us dying in space? Just what in my own personal hell do you two think you're doing? Well... And don't insult my intelligence by lying to me. No, I will not gorge myself on a highly addictive substance while we drift into a war zone while listening to a shitty rock musical because it's insane and we will die. Lana. Lana. Let me go ahead and save you the trouble of shouting my name like a shrill five-year-old. Shrill? And point out that I'm a little busy doing both our job. Miss Kane, is it? Yep. Ah, uh, what is it now? You know, we're only trying to steal back a priceless artifact that, by the way, belongs in a... Holy shit. He woke up. Look, we had a great team dynamic going before he came back. So let's just roll it back to coma o'clock and... Oh, my God. We try to keep things professional around here. Fine. God, how about work-related erection? More like maybe try not talking about your erection at all. We've been over this. The agency doesn't kill anymore, jackass. He's a lunatic. I mean, clearly he asked you out because, well. Well, what? Oh, come on, he's trying to send a message that he found a stand-in, you know, for, uh, for this. No one screw up or I'll put your bones in a blender and hit frappe. Rampage! <laughs> Honestly, at this point, I'd wipe out the entire earth if you went with it. God damn it, Pam! Hey, shit for brains, I'm busy, leave me the hell alone! Man, this guy's like Houdini. Meaning he hopped in a cab while you weren't looking? While you weren't looking. I was looking, at tchotchkes. Wow, it's breathtaking. I've never seen anything like it. The earth, the water, the air, it's like everything working together in harmony to create the truest and purest form of life. And it's just so beautiful. And you feel nothing. Nope, not a thing. You know, I think I like nature a lot better in theory. Bermuda! Ha! Not sure the sewer is transatlantic. No, my proof that I'm fun. 15 years ago in Bermuda. I was fun with you four times, then two more times in the river. Sploosh and bam. Nope, doesn't count. Oh, why not? Because you never did it again. And now you've depressed me by making me remember actively sucking the fun away. And that's the last active sucking you'll ever get. Phrasing. Obviously. 